Imagining the technology of the future is a fun way to spend a little downtime. If you pay attention to developing technological trends, though, you don't have to use your imagination. There's plenty of future tech out there in the world already. Some have made it from the drawing board to reality, whereas other ideas are still blueprints or prototypes. Let's check some of it out. This blocky car looks like something from the 1980s, but it's actually a brand new car for the 2020s. And you might even have seen it on the news recently. It's the Tesla Cybertruck, and it made headlines all over the world when Elon Musk managed to shatter the bulletproof glass while demonstrating how unbreakable it was supposed to be. That suggests that it might undergo a few more design tweaks before it's ready for sale, but make no mistake, this all-electric light commercial vehicle is almost ready to hit the road. Musk and his company hope that it will outperform every other major electric car project in the world today, with a range of up to 500 miles per charge and acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds. Tesla's vision for the Cybertruck is for it to become an environmentally friendly replacement for trucks that run on fossil fuel, of which more than 6,000 are sold every day in the United States of America. If there's a downside here, it's that Musk's reputation for being a quote-unquote genius isn't exactly what it used to be, am I right? Kia has a unique idea for the future of autonomous cars. It wants them to be able to read the emotions of their drivers. That might sound like pretentious nonsense, but Kia showcased the idea at CES 2019. It's not an idea for here and now, though. Kia sees this as something that can be introduced when the public has become accustomed to self-driving cars and accepts them as the norm. In preparation for that, the company is working with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to develop a system called READ, which stands for Real-Time Emotion Adaptive Driving. As you may already have guessed, READ is artificial intelligence. If Kia can be taken at face value, its technology can use biosignal recognition technology to analyze people's emotional state as they drive, and they alter aspects of the cabin environment to better suit their mood. It could, for example, reduce the temperature if you get too hot, play soothing music if you become agitated, or display warming colors if you're upset. Some people will find the concept far too intrusive, but we're sure it will also have its fans. When you first look at the Dutch-built PAL V1, your first thought will probably be to wonder whether it's a car or a helicopter. Incredibly, the answer to both questions is yes. On the road, it's a three-wheeled car capable of carrying two passengers. To take to the air, it has stowable folders that have to be folded out by hand and then a propeller at the rear that folds out all by itself. It looks like it should be unstable when driven at high speed, but thanks to the fact that it's built around a suspension system copied from a Carver 1, it handles surprisingly well. Although it looks like a helicopter when it takes off, the correct technical term for it is a gyro rotor. The rotary wing above the body of the car is unpowered. All the drive comes from the propeller at the back. That means it can land safely in the event of a power outage, theoretically making it safer than a helicopter. It's at least as safe as any flying car we've ever seen, but we're surprised it's not on the market already. It's several years overdue. The M80 Stiletto is an American prototype naval ship that's said to be the maritime stealth vessel of the future. The problem with that statement is that it's been repeated constantly since the prototype Stiletto launched in January 2006, and it still exists as a singular unit over 16 years later. It might still turn out to be the prototype for the future, but it's a worry that it's been at the testing stage for well over a decade. Putting that aside, this is a remarkable and unique ship. By using a distinctive five-hulled structure in the shape of an M, the M80 creates hardly any bow wave, making it faster and more agile on the water. At top speed, it can reach 70 miles per hour. Combine that speed and agility with its carbon fiber composite construction, 
and you have a ship that's perfectly suited to combat situations in shallow waters. From an operational point of view, it's been used sparingly. It was deployed with the U.S. Coast Guard for two months in 2008 and was then seen again in 2012 when it retrieved a NASA re-entry test vessel from the sea. It's officially still in service, but nobody seems to know exactly what's happening with it now. When the Renault Trésor was unveiled at the 2016 Paris Motor Show, it created quite a stir. It also won quite a few awards, including the Most Beautiful Concept Car Award from Festival Automobile International. The Trezor is a two-seater electric concept car with semi-autonomous capabilities, and as Renault basked in the glow of its positive reception in 2016, it proudly announced that it would have the car on the market by the end of 2020. Obviously, 2020 has been and gone. So where's the Renault Trezor? That's a good question, and Renault doesn't seem to want to answer it. The project is officially still alive, though, and we have to assume the global events of 2020 held things up a little. We hope it makes it to the market, because it's a very attractive car. Its signature trait, other than its autonomous qualities, is the way the clamshell-style roof opens up to expose the entire interior, thus allowing access to its driver and passenger. With a drag coefficient of 0.22, it's one of the world's most aerodynamically efficient cars, too. The bicycle is a simple invention, and it's been around for a very long time. It seems foolish to believe that anybody could ever reimagine the bike. Or could they? Here's the GI Flybike, described by the company behind it as the ultimate cruise bike for modern city streets. The bike has an aluminum alloy frame, which makes it surprisingly lightweight. In fact, it weighs just 37 pounds per unit. Combine that with the fact that it's easy to fold up, and it's a genuinely portable bicycle. That's not all, though. The GI Flybike interfaces with your phone and uses its satellite navigation system to map out your route for you. While you're pedaling the wheels, the bike charges your phone. If pedaling is too much effort, you can take a break and let the bike pedal itself for up to 40 miles, thanks to its brushless motor. It's still a bicycle, but it's the next phase of bicycle evolution. Unfortunately, it's just a Kickstarter idea at the moment. If you'd like to change that, the project is still seeking new investors. You've heard of a moped, but have you ever heard of the snowped? We doubt it, so let's look at one. This is the Snowped, as designed by Joey Reuter, as shown off to the world as a concept in 2016. The name is a play on words. It's a marketable way of describing an upright single-track snow bike that comes in a jet black minimalist package. According to Reuter, it's an example of transport and practicality meeting art and fashion design. Reuter has form for creating eye-catching concepts. He came up with a design for a vehicle that was both a boat and an aircraft in 2007. On that occasion, he never followed the design up with a prototype. Given that it's been a few years since he digitally unveiled the snowped, it might be doomed to the same fate. There's no reason why one couldn't be built, though. All the technology behind it is real including the Chrysler SnowRunner track at the rear and the 90cc engine. Reuter was asked about the snowped recently and said that although he doesn't plan to make it commercially available, he'd consider making one-off units if people were willing to pay a premium. The whole world is looking for cleaner, cheaper energy, but plenty of people hate wind turbines because they think they spoil the countryside. If you're one of those people, Boo! You may want to look away for a moment. These enormous new wind turbines might be the energy generation solution of the future, and they have blades longer than football fields. There's a saving grace, though. The turbines won't stand in fields. Instead, they'll be out at sea. This monstrous invention is the brainchild of GE Renewable Energy and is called the Haliad X. The company has been working on the idea since 2018. From base to tip, the Haliad X will be 853 feet tall. 
That's twice the size of the average onshore turbine in the U.S. and only 150 feet shorter than the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. The diameter of its rotor will be 722 feet. Each blade will be 351 feet long. The upshot of all of this size is that each Haliad X unit is expected to produce 67 gigawatts annually. That's enough to power 16,000 households per turbine. You can always rely on the military to come up with new technological concepts. In December 2022, the Australian military impressed the watching world with the introduction of the so-called Ghost Shark. That's the nickname that the Royal Australian Navy has given to its new unmanned combat submarine, which is manufactured by Andouril Industries. Australians have form for these naming conventions. The Royal Australian's Air Force unmanned drones are called Ghost Bats. The Ghost Shark is the solution to the task that was handed to Andouril Industries, which was to develop an affordable autonomous drone with long-range capabilities and excellent endurance capable of both military and non-military missions. The prototype was delivered unarmed, as Andoril doesn't handle that. There's plenty of space for the Royal Australian Navy to arm their Ghost Shark if they so desire. The units aren't cheap at 100 million Australian dollars per system, but the cost may come down once a few units have been produced. Three units have been ordered for delivery over the next three years with a potential for more if all goes well. Speaking of submarines, the U.S. Navy announced in March 2020 that it was developing a robot submarine that's capable of carrying out a kill order without any human control. Whew, what a lovely thought! The robo-subs will be equipped with artificial intelligence and will be allowed to come to their own conclusions about whether the use of lethal force is necessary. The U.S. Office of Naval Research refers to the project as CLAWS and describes the proposed units as autonomous undersea weapons systems for clandestine use. It also says that the units will be capable of increasing mission areas into kinetic effects, which is one of the various ways the U.S. military dresses up the concept of blowing things up. There's some confusion about the nature of CLAWS, though. Some sources say it's a whole new type of submarine, whereas others say CLAWS is just the artificial intelligence system, and CLAWS could be deployed in the next class of Orca underwater robots. If it's the latter, CLAWS units could be in operation already, without anybody outside the U.S. military knowing about it. Stina Line has been talking about introducing fossil fuel-free ships for a long time. In 2021, we got our first look at what that might mean in practical terms. This is the Stina Electra, and it aims to be the first fossil-free ship in the world. Obviously, the videos and images you can see here are CGI. They're concepts. The Stina Electra isn't scheduled to be released until 2030. At first, the electric ferry will only operate on one route which is between Stina Line's home port in Gothenburg, Sweden, and Frederikshaven, which is also in Denmark. Shipping and ferrying are light years behind other transport industries when it comes to electrification, but there are good reasons for that. The biggest challenge Stina faces is developing a viable battery. The amount of power required to drive a large ship across the water is enormous, even if such a battery can be created, Stina needs to find a way of recharging the battery when the ship reaches port. That means electric ferries will only be able to move between destinations that have suitable charging facilities. At first glance, the Chrysler Synthesis looks like a futuristic jet ski. Perhaps it could be used for such a purpose with a few modifications, but that's not what it was built for. This is what Chrysler thinks the car interior of the future will look like, and it showed it off at CES 2023. It's less like a regular car interior and more like a cockpit. Allegedly, it's a smart cockpit, and it learns from the person who sits in it over time. When it knows enough about its driver, it aims to create the perfect driving environment for them. That includes providing what's described as a hand-off, eyes-off experience. 
which makes its sounds a little like Chrysler wants the synthesis to seduce people. The personal assistant that comes with the car provides weather updates, calendar appointments, phone charging, and all the features of a smart home, and can even organize karaoke sessions to keep drivers awake and alert. Chrysler's slogan for the project is Harmony in Motion, and it refers to harmony between customer, product, services, and environment. It sounds a little pretentious, but there's some promising tech here. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon!